Matomola Likwanya is District Information and Publicity. He's also on Coloma Ward, the sparring candidate. We're talking about youth participation in elections and generally the 2021 elections are Zambian youth ready to take up the challenge. Welcome. Thank you so much, Comrade Cheswa. It's been always a pleasure being here. First of all, congratulations, uh, you being um, elected as the District Information and Publicity Secretary from the UPND. Quite an achievement, um, I must say. Thank you so much. It was not easy, but uh, courtesy of the people of Zambia, we made it. Do you feel that there is a, a wave of new leadership that Zambia needs at the moment, especially young leadership? Well, thank you so much, Comrade Chase. I want to say that uh, Zambia has changed politically. The type of politics that we have in our country now has embraced young people. I'm a living testimony. At the age of uh, 29 years old, I've been sitting on, 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 on different portfolios within my party where I belong. I've seen a number of young people in different political parties taking up critical laws. Zambia has changed because we are now embracing the involvement of young people in politics. But we cannot say that it is 100%. So that is the reason why there has been a relentless campaign to encourage young people to come to the party, to come to the, to the, to the stands of politics and see how best they can contribute to the politics of this country. So there's a, there's a magnificent change that, that we have seen. And even people on the ground are beginning to accept that the leadership is in the brains. You know, I speak from, from, from experience because I'm aspiring as a, as a counselor in a, in a ward that has got over now 60,000 registered voters. Uh, it is not easy, but people have accepted me. The people of Mississi, the people of, 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 of Kuku, you know, they have accepted me as, as their candidate for the 2021 general elections. So it, we are moving forward. Do, do you think yeah. old leadership are ready to create space for you, the young people, to be able to participate um, in governance of this country? Last week we had a, we had a workshop where, which involved ECZ. Uh, which was uh, which was uh, you know uh, held and hosted under the auspices of some international organization, and these are some of the issues that we were discussing. Mm. And uh, I rose on a very critical point of observation, which many of my fellow youths agreed with me. I said that at this particular time uh, in our country, the the basis on which people must be given uh, leadership or responsibility to lead must not be based on youth. On ageism, we as young people, much as we are advocating that uh, we must be given critical roles in in, in governance, but we must be, be we must be we, we must be selected based on merits. We are advocating for a meritocracy type of of of, of the selection where yeah. young people, in as much as they are they are standing for them to for for public office, but it must be based on on, on merit. So at the at the moment. The, 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 the leadership that we see from the old, we are going to take that leadership not based on the fact that we are young people, but based on the fact that we are competent. One of the reasons why uh, uh, even the older generations have challenged us young people, it is because circles among ourselves tend to believe that being young must be an entitlement to leadership. I hold the view, we hold the view even in our party as UPND, that Leadership is based on merits. And the reason why the people of Nkoroma would probably who vote for me who should not be based because he's a young, he's a young mm. person, Matomora is young, he's 29 years old. No, I bring forward solutions that probably even the older generations of my area are not bringing. A lot of young yeah. people are having challenges in just getting to be adopted by political parties. Do you, do you feel that there is equal opportunities for young people, youthful people to be adopted on the, some of these party tickets as members of parliament or even as, as councillors like, like you aspire yourself? That has been a challenge in almost all political parties and I must mention even in, in my, the political party I belong. Mm. And I want to uh, really appeal to uh, presidents of various political parties today, uh, including that of the ruling uh, party PF that 
if we are going to be very much serious in incorporating young people to stand for public office, we must look at our adoption process. So going into uh, 2020, uh, 2021 general elections, uh, what is it that some of us as young people expect as, as, as young aspirants? We expect that uh, various political parties should begin considering adopting young people based on merit, not because they are young, but also the adoption process must be fair, transparent, and not uh, you know, stiff. How, how, a young how do you, to, to I mean, let's, let's, let's speak practical things. I mean, how, how do you, how do you, would you expect an adoption process to look like? How do you, how do you, how do you expect it? One to, of the to things that's not, especially if it's not enshrined in in your party constitution. One of the things that have really have, uh, affected young people, us as young aspirants, is uh, finance. Mm -hmm. um, you know, young people in many political parties have been left from adoption processes based on the fact that they cannot afford a particular amount of nomination fees. So we appeal to the, elect the Electoral Commission of Zambia to begin to revisit uh, nomination fees to favor young people. Because a political party would say, Matomara, we want to adopt you as a council, but, but you, you do not, not have, have the, resources. The, the resources to run a campaign for, you, for yourself. And so you are disadvantaged. But even ECZ, if it is very much sincere in making sure that young people are to participate in politics, we want to see them revise the fees. Not only that, the political parties themselves must have a deliberate policy to adopt a certain percentage of young people, especially in the coming elections that we have, we, we, are, we are going to have. We, we expect to see more women, we expect to see more young people being adopted, and that must be a deliberate policy from no, all political speak, parties. Let's, let's speak our caller um, calling us this evening. Hello, good evening. Through to Diamond Life. Hello, good evening. Good evening. Do we have a caller? Yes, sir. Please go ahead with your contribution. Yes, sir. Thank you very much for the platform to contribute on this matter. I think, uh, like uh, Mr. Matumala is saying right now, uh, yeah, young people are ready to take up a challenge, but I like what he's saying because. It's uh, the adoption in each political party should be given on the basis of merit, not because you are young. So I like what the young man is saying because I really see that he's a leader and the, what he's uh, speaking right now, it, 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 it is encouraging us as young people to say we have young men and women who are really aspiring for leadership and they are capable of doing it. So I think the best thing is not because we should not be adopted in any political part because we are youth, but what are we to bring on the table? Are we capable? The competence. So I think I like what Mr. Matomala is saying. And I encourage each and every young people, women and men, to stand up, those that are competent. And like he's saying, I think the ECZ also must also create a platform for young men and women to make sure that they, 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 they participate in the decision making by reducing or by allowing young men and women to participate by reducing the, the, the fees that are on the table. Thank you very much. I think thank this you. is my contribution. Thank you, thank you for that contribution. I would love to allow more callers. So keep calling. Uh, you can also visit our Facebook page, Diamond TV Zambia. Matumala Likwanya is inspiring Nkoloma Ward Council. And now, I think many of the questions are around, again, adoption. Do you believe that those that have held public office as members of parliament at the moment are ready to step aside and leave space for you? Politics, Comrade Cheswa, is all about competition. Do you to believe say that to, to say aside? no, and I want to be very much open here and say the people that have tasted power, that are there in parliament, that have enjoyed the uh, allowances that know how much it feels to be given free talk time and free fuel. The people that are that, that know how, how much it feels to be given free government vehicles, they are not so much willing to hand over power to a generation and a crop of young people like us. And it is uh, incumbent upon us as young people to compete for power. You know, sociology has it that power, you know, is in limited supply. Those that are in need of it must compete with one another. So we as young people right now are in need of this power. 
we must compete if it if need be with the older generation and even those that are there how will you it get is not going power? to be how will you get this power if if you clearly say that they they are not seemingly ready that is to, why we have got to, democratic to, to elections we have got democratic elections our democracy has evolved so much that at this particular time every person is free to contest even me where i'm contesting as a as, an, as a as a counselor in, in Koromawad, we are five of us who are contesting the same position and i'm the youngest still in that race you know i did not have to sit back and say because they are not willing to hand over power so we must we must compete but, as young but, but people also, we must be able to to to, to step up that is why I love the quote by Kasonde Mwenda that says that wherever we want to go, our feet shall take us there. Because even in our smallness, there is greatness. And that is the reason I want to really encourage my fair youths out there that this is our time. I think for me, today being the first day of the, of, of, of the year 2021, I want to say that 2021 is a year for us as young people to stand up. This is a year for us to declare our position. And it's a year for us to say, we stood because we are the only ones who are going to fight political violence. We are the only ones who are going to make the situation in our country favorable for young people to participate. Right now, one of the challenges that we are facing as young people, especially where participation of politics is concerned, is violence. Young people today are afraid to be engaged in politics because they fear being arrested, they fear being shot at. A young man at my age, the whole entire 2020, I, I went in police custody four times. You know, on political trumped up charges. When fellow young people begin to see a person such as me being victimized and being taken from one court to the other, they tend to fear. When they see uh, uh, Joseph Kaunda being shot in court blood by the police, they tend to fear. When they see uh, Lawrence Banda being shot, they tend to fear. So the political situation and atmosphere in our country has also disadvantage young people from from participating let's, in let's, politics. Let's pick another caller, uh, Mr. Likwani. Good evening, and through to Diamond Life. Good evening, I was talking to Moses Lungu. Moses, go ahead with your contribution. Please be very brief. My, my, my contribution, first of all, I want to resist my disappointment because you are within my talk time. Going to the point, I feel like yes, it's the right time for young people to begin to take up this position. But at the same time, these young people must do more research because I think that somehow they lack the depth. They do not really understand the history of this country, and that's very dangerous. If you don't understand the history of this country, that is why you find yourself most of the time involving yourself in violence and other activities that are not beneficial to this country. Look at the type of UK, you know, at first it was president because these are the people that understood with Hali Mwanga Nkumbula the history of our country and together they were able to unite this country. So you young people, you will lack that is safety and because, because of that you find that you do not see what it takes to unite the country. So don't just rush for these things. You should also consult the elderly people so that they tell you the history of this country, why we are the one Zambia, one nation. Thank you. Thank you very much. Money from another tribe. Thank you. I, I didn't get you quite clear. You said you 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 disappointed in what? Because those young people that have been given the opportunity, they've ended up, you know, messing up themselves. They don't have the depth understanding of this country. That's where the problem is. Thank you, Moses. Thank you for calling us. Um, they don't we, we appreciate you that. They don't we, we appreciate your your contribution. I, I think because of time, in conclusion. Uh, many of the people are looking, of course, at some new type of leadership, those issues around the Constitution Amendment Bill that um, uh, the, the ruling party told us that, look, there, there, there would be more seats for people that are differently able, there would be more seats for women, there would be more seats for youth. Uh, do you think we still need as a country to get back to the drawing board and restructure and reorganize our Constitution that will be able to favor young people to be able to participate in policy, especially at uh, you know, uh, uh, the, the adoption level, because that is where seemingly the problem is. Yes. So uh, we, as young people now, we hold the view that our constitution must be changed. We must have proportional uh, representation system. When we say proportional representation, we mean seats in, in parliament must be apportioned proportionately. Okay? We are advocating that young people must see 
be prioritized. There must be a certain percentage of young people in the council chambers, certain percentage of young people in, in, the, in the parliament. But for that to happen, there must be a piece of registration. And that is through the constitution. So if we failed it out through the, 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 the butane, which are the mixed feelings here and there, there is a possibility that uh, after uh, the, the change of government in 2021, which, which so whoever government that shall come in must be able to consider bringing in another bill before the floor of parliament to now engage, you know, young people. And now that we are in a few months for us to go to, to, to the general elections, I, I, would, I would suggest that it, it will be too late for us to push in any bill. Let us focus on the 2021 general elections. And after the 2021 general elections, and I'm very much confident that there will be regime change. The PF government, they are going, there will be UPNT that will come in. And when it comes in, definitely my government, through the able leadership of President Akande Echirema, I can assure you that he has already said that he's going to bring in proportional representation that will allow a lot of young people to participate in, 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 in governance. Jamala, thanks a lot for coming. Um, we wish okay. you the best. Thanks. Thank you so much. Take a break, and we will still... Uh, be taking a look at your messages coming through on our Facebook page. Don't forget to equally still call us on this edition of Diamond Life.